Words cannot describe my excitement when I heard they were coming out with a mobile version of one of my favorite arcade racing games of all time. I have already made an entire 20 minute video on this channel talking about how I have always felt this game is criminally underrated in the arcade racing genre. From the beautiful graphics, next gen car and destruction physics, insanely fun map design, and plenty of wacky vehicles to choose from, Breakfast is every arcade racer's dream. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to really quick let you all know that we do have a community discord called the Vicarious Crowd. I'll have a link in the description below, as well as I'll put it in the pinned comments. Click on it, join it, and come have some fun. It's a great little community space where you can post memes, videos, or any updates, or if you want to ask me questions and get to know me a little bit more, that is the best place to do it. So with that, let's get back to the video. And now, I finally have my hands on the mobile version of this game, and my jaw has literally been on the floor since I first booted it up. I cannot believe they were able to cram the entire main game into a portable mobile version you can play on a device that fits into your pocket. With the same gameplay, same features, massive amount of content, and even the gorgeous graphics, nothing has been left out in order to port it over to mobile, and that is an insanely difficult feat to accomplish successfully. In case you didn't know, Wreckfest is a demolition derby themed racing game that is now on sale for $10 on iOS and Android. It's developed by Bugbear Entertainment, who is well known for their flat out series back on the PS2 and original Xbox days. So obviously, they know a thing or two when it comes to arcade racing and vehicle destruction. It's also really nice to see that they didn't send over their assets to a third party company to make some cheap knockoff mobile version to make a quick buck. This is clearly a passion project from the team and I truly want their hard work to be recognized. This game will run on iOS and Android operating systems as long as the minimum requirements are met. If you're playing on Android, your mobile device must be running Android 10 or later and have at least 3GB of RAM available with a Snapdragon 720G CPU or higher. As for iPhone users, as long as your device is running iOS 14 and above, has 2GB of RAM, and has an A10 chip or higher, the game will run just fine. I recorded all of my footage today on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, which has a Snapdragon 855 processor with Adreno 640 graphics. And even though it just reaches above the minimum specs needed for running the game, I can easily run it at a steady 30 frames a second, even at ultra settings. When it comes to the controls, Bugbear has recommended to use a Bluetooth controller to play the game on mobile effectively, but you can easily use the touch controls as well without any issues. For most of the gameplay you will see in this video, I connected my PS5 controller to my tablet to play the game and throughout my entire 5 hour session, I experienced no issues whatsoever. If you want to use touch controls, they have given the user many options to make the experience as enjoyable as possible. You can resize each control to your liking, you can move them around to spots where it's most comfortable, and even switch from automatic gear shifting to manual gear shifting even with touch controls. Getting into the game itself, you are greeted with four game modes, career, custom event, multiplayer, and tournament. I will say right now that I was sadly not able to find any working servers within the multiplayer section during my testing. This could be due to a lack of marketing for the game, but that's pretty much the main reason I wanted to make this video is to get this game out there to reach more potential players. And also because I was given a copy of this game to test out from the wonderful people over at Bugbear and Handy Games. So I just wanted to give a huge thank you for giving me this opportunity. I was able to start a multiplayer server myself and I got a few friends to join in on the game and the server ran without any issues. There was no disconnects or anything and it all has the same features that the main game does in terms of customization or the event such as changing the track, session mode, event type, number of laps, car destruction type, and so much more. I honestly had a blast wrecking my friends and I truly cannot wait to see this multiplayer take off. My only real issue with it right now is that you do need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection for the multiplayer to work. So sadly you cannot use this while on the go or if you're trying to play with someone across the country. Hopefully this will be addressed and a proper multiplayer mode will be implemented in the future. Moving on to custom event, this is just your standard single player, choose your track, car, and game type, and go have fun mode. From here, you can easily jump into a race, a banger race, destruction derby, elimination race, or team race. Next, choose from over 44, you heard me, 44 tracks to either race or wreck each other on. They even give you a ton of available cars to choose from as well as even ones that you haven't necessarily unlocked or purchased through the career mode. This is where I spend most of my time after completing the career mode because the playtime is literally endless. 
When talking about the different event types, I probably should explain what each one means. Banger race, which basically means be the first to cross the finish line, and yes, being the only one to cross the finish line counts as first. Elimination race, like a normal banger race, but if you are in last when the timer hits zero, you are disqualified. A team race, you'll team up in two to four teams to crash and wreck the other teams before the finish line. Demolition Derby, wreck your opponents and earn points with different types of slams and last man standing. It's like Destruction Derby, but no respawns. You must survive the mayhem and be crowned the victor. Think Battle Royale with big block engines. Or Deathmatch. Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch include respawn mechanics. As long as you're the one doing the most wrecking and not the wrecky, you'll be fine. Moving on to career mode. This is where the main amount of content takes place. You'll work yourself up with the regional junior championships all the way up to world masters by completing certain events and challenges along the way. Initially, only a few races are unlocked, but once you complete those races, you can begin to upgrade your vehicle with swapping out parts, changing your paint job, and even change out the car completely by buying brand new ones. Upgrading your vehicle actually does make a significant difference within the gameplay, such as getting new suspension for tighter turning or upgrading your intake manifold to gain better acceleration. Completing certain events in the career mode will unlock special vehicles that you can use within custom events or even multiplayer. And now, last but certainly not least, the final game mode is Tournament. Within Tournament mode, you will be offered some of the most unique rewards in the game and it will keep you coming back for more mayhem on a daily, weekly, and seasonal basis. By completing challenges in Tournament mode, you are able to win brand new cars and modifications for your rides. As I stated before, there are three different challenge types within Tournament mode. They include Daily Challenges, which are daily refreshing challenges that will keep you on edge, Weekly Challenges, are once a week major challenges to unlock special vehicles and modifications. And lastly, season challenges, the big one. These challenges are no joke, but more time to complete means better rewards, right? I will say that when moving to the mobile version of this game for my gaming PC, I was expecting to see a massive downgrade in visual quality, and I'm halfway proven wrong. From the lighting to the car destruction physics, everything is here and it feels just as it did day one of playing the original game back on my gaming PC. Yes, they do give you graphic setting options so depending on your hardware you can get better performance by lowering certain graphical aspects or if you do have a beast gaming phone, you can max out all settings and truly feel like you are playing the original game on a decked out gaming PC, just it's in the palm of your hand. So that was my quick overview of Wreckfest on mobile. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any specific questions you may have about the game on if you should buy it or if you shouldn't. I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. And again, I do want to give a huge shout out to Bugbear and Handy Games for giving me this opportunity to play this game on my channel. Thank you guys, you're amazing. I've been absolutely loving the games, and I really hope to see a Wreckfest 2 in the near future. But make sure you guys leave a like, share, support as always. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out. Hey guys, Nick here again. Just wanted to really quick give a huge shout out to my members. That's Bacon Spaceman, Vinny Severiman, and Thrasher the Black Stallion. Thank you guys so much for your amazing support on the channel. It does truly help. And if you would like to be shown at the end of every new upload, just like these fine gentlemen here, just join the memberships right below every new video. You click the little join button there. And for as little as $1, that's right, $1, you can join the Vicarious crowd and help support the channel for all new content. So with that, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Hope you have a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.